What's up guys, my name is Matt Zeffi and in this video I'm revamping my 2017 proxy tutorial. I made the video like I said in 2017 and it was my first YouTube video ever. It did pretty well, but hey, I wanted to redo it in 2020, bring it up to the times, a lot's changed since then in Premiere Pro and just in general. And I wanted to get the time down a bit too, it was a little long and I want you guys to grasp this contest. It's not a contest, but life generally is. I wanted you to grasp this in a shorter amount of time, and get you in, get you out, and let's just get started. In this tutorial, I'm covering two ways that you can do this in Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna start with ingest settings, which basically creates proxies for any clips that you import into the project. And it'll do so automatically through Media Encoder. So if you were starting a project, you would see the ingest settings right here on the right side. You would turn them on and click create proxies. If you've already started a project, you can still turn ingest settings on by coming up to file, project settings, ingest settings, and turning them on and navigating to create proxies. Now, if you don't want all of the media that you import into your project to render proxies, then you can just select the clips or highlight the clips that you want to create proxies for, right click them and scroll down to proxy, create proxies. So this is the panel that opens right when you hit that. There are typically these two options, H.264 and QuickTime. I tend to go with QuickTime Cineform Low Resolution Proxy Preset. I find that this works best for my computer and my previous computer. I probably would go with ProRes if I was working with a Mac. And honestly, sometimes I do go with ProRes still, but this is what I've been using lately. For destination, I always have next to original media in proxy folder selected, and I'll usually go back to that folder months or whenever I know I'm done with the project and I'll delete those proxies. So I think that's a great way to kind of keep those proxies well organized in your finder or explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what it's going to do is open Adobe Media Encoder. So you do have to make sure you have that installed when you do this. And it should automatically start rendering out the video. So we've just finished up here. So let's jump back into Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want to confirm that your proxy has properly attached to your clip, you'll want to check this by coming to the project bin and going to metadata display by right clicking this panel up here. And then under this first drop down menu, you'll want to make sure that proxy is toggled on and then click OK. And then, so this is my clip here, I scroll to the right. And as you can see under proxy, it says attached, which means that that proxy has properly attached to my clip. And whenever I'm viewing it in the pane here, I'm now viewing proxy footage. Now, one more additional step that you'll have to do to make sure that your proxies are toggled on while you're editing is you'll have to come to the button pane here and make sure that you have proxies toggled on. If you don't see this toggle proxy icon, you want to come to this plus bar right here, grab the button and drag it down to here. And then once you turn it on, your proxy is immediately shown here. Unlike Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro does not export your proxies. It will revert to your original media when it exports. So you don't actually have to worry about turning off your proxies when you go to export. It is really important to know, however, that this doesn't always work with certain frame rates. Premiere Pro has not seemed to handle this well with varying frame rates, especially when you interpret footage differently in Premiere Pro versus Adobe Media Encoder. So you have to be careful when working with different frame rates. One last tip that you might not need, but if when you navigate it to your proxy drop down here and it says that it's not attached or offline, you want to Come here, right click, go down to proxy, attach proxies, and you could always do this and navigate to that file if for some reason it didn't properly attach. That's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got anything out of this video, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, 
Feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I have a ton of videos coming in the very near future, tech reviews, tutorials, and even some podcasts, and honestly, much, 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 much more. So this is a perfect time to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.